Hevenu shalom alechem. In the native language of my Lord and Savior Yahshua HaMashiach, the one in English we call Jesus Christ. The world sleeps just like sheep, peaceful in a pillow padded with lies. I'm praying daily, but the world's got even intellectual thinkers mesmerized. My people starve for revival, but in God's words they stray away instead of seek. In about four seconds, by the grace of God, I will begin to teach. You are now watching The Conservative Racer. Remember, the race is not over until Christ returns. Romans 11.36 For of him, and through him, and to him, are all things, to whom be glory forever. Amen. Simply put, God not only created man, but he created all things, and he is the center and sustainer of all things. If he would suddenly cease to sustain our world, then our world would cease to be. Let's entitle this poem, Man vs. Mouse. School kids trapped between two worlds, God's versus Darwin. I can't tell if the teacher's really teaching or just teaching about Marvin the Martian. Really though, if given a choice between being God's glorious creation made in the likeness of himself, how could anyone choose to be defined by looking like some ape or nameless species in notes on Darwin's bookshelf? What we need is men, men to be fathers and moms. Mom up, teach your children until they learn don't let them out the house. And stop the jab, put God first, don't live in fear. What are we, man or mouse? This world will tell you anything to make you weak and draw away from the Father's plan. But I'm still strong with the Father's word in my hand, even without an S on my chest, I'm still super like that man. God's word versus the world. Please continue to join me in this series of poems that I dedicate to my Lord and Savior Yahshua HaMashiach, the man called Jesus Christ. People, time is wasting. Get familiar. <laughs>